Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. During Labor Day celebrations today at Uhuru Gardens in Nairobi, Regavi Gashagwa was badly heckled. And that was a very big embarrassment for him and for Kenya Kwanzaa Brigade. In this video, I want us to dig deep to understand the main reason why Rigadi was heckled and what that means politically. Before we do that, let's listen to Rigadi Gashagwa. Your Excellency, through prudent management and well thought out interventions, you have successfully brought down the cost of hunger from an all-time high of 230 shillings to slightly above 150. Your Excellency, that and other interventions. It is true, it is in between 150, 170, depending on where you buy. Natuta and I. Your Excellency. Yes. It's very rare for top national leaders, a deputy president, or even a president to be heckled. It's very rare. But we saw Rigadi Gashagwa being heckled in broad daylight. What does that mean? The first meaning it shows clearly that Kenyans are tired of Kenya Kwanzaa's lies. Listening to William Ruto speak, Rigadi speak, any top government official speak, it's all about lies and propaganda. I strongly believe that Kenyans are tired and fed up with the lies coming from the government. That's the first reason I strongly believe Rigadi was heckled. Kenyans have seen that these are leaders who are repeatedly, constantly lying. And listening to Rigadi speak today, it's a fact he was lying. To say that Ongafla prices are retailing at about 150 Kenya shillings, that's a big lie. In fact, most retail stores sell a 2 kg pack of unga at about 200 Kenya shillings. The 150 Rigadi was talking about, that is his own unga, not the one, the one Kenyans have been buying. So he was lying and the Kenyans are already tired of the lies coming from the government. The second reason, Rigadi was heckled because Kenyans, a good majority of Kenyans, have a very strong feeling that the government in general is not performing. So the heckling of Rigadi Gashagwa was not even about Unga. But it was a wonderful opportunity for Kenyan, Kenyans to show their disapproval of William Ruto's government. And they just needed maybe a leader, a top government official or leader, to make such a blunder regarding made. So Kenyans got that opportunity to show their displeasure with William Ruto's government. And largely, if you look at the performance of the government, it's a fact, just as I've been saying, the government is failing from all quarters. What William Ruto promised when he was campaigning for the presidency, as the president, he's doing the exact opposite. And when he was campaigning, he used to attack Azimio Raila Odinga 
and that team that they were out to create positions. That all Raila wanted, what Uru wanted, was just to create positions. Ruto actually labeled as a meal with so many lies. And what he was accusing as a meal at that time, he's doing the exact, <laughs> in fact, he's doing the exact things he was accusing as a meal of doing. So Kenyans know all this and they are not just happy with the government. The heckling by Rigati Gashagwa also confirms that those who attended that event, because earlier in our in our earlier video, I shared with you a clip where those who attended that event were complaining that they were promised to be paid 500 for attending, but they were never paid. So it might be possible that the ones who were paid to attend, the ones who were mobilized to attend, were in the first place not Kenya Kwanzaa supporters. A majority might have been Azimu supporters who might have been just mobilized or, or have been paid to attend. That's why they could not just keep quiet to hear regard the lie. That shows a majority of those who attended that event were pro Azimio, not Kenya Kwanzaa. That's why they were heckling. And from the heckling again, it's also coming out very clearly that William Ruto and his team have got a lot to do to actually attain or, yes, to get that confidence of Kenyans. Rather, to get that confidence. Kenyans don't just have confidence in William Ruto and his team. A good majority feels that this is a government they never elected. It's also a confidence issue. This government is not enjoying that confidence. That's why Rigadi was being heckled. And he was also heckled to send a message to William Ruto that your deputy is getting rogue. Your deputy is getting rogue. That was the clear message Kenyans wanted to send to William Ruto by heckling Rigadi Gashagwa. And the message was sent very, very well. And there are so many reasons why Kenyans wanted to send that message to Ruto. Rigadi has been behaving as a tribal chief, not a national leader. And that also goes contrary to the stature of the office he holds as a deputy president. A deputy president is expected to be a symbol of national unity, not a symbol of national division, because it's also true regarding has been a symbol of national division. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. In case you are watching us, but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like, and to our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humble, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. Thank you. God bless you. Any other person who wants to support our forum, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number or feel free to channel your support to the number. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you. And before I forget, if you are watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. And if possible, subscribe, give this video a like. Give it a like, please.
Thank you. God bless you.